Before we go any further, let's preface this entire class with one warning. You need to back up your music. Any changes made to your existing library may cause irreparable damage to your database. So please follow these steps carefully if this is the route you choose to take. So at this point, we're gonna start by taking all of the music in your hard drives. We're gonna to attempt to combine your folders of music into one storage device. So what we're gonna do now is put every song that is currently unorganized into one master folder. As you can see here, I have scattered indexed folders upon folders. This is what we're currently working with right now. And as you can see, there's so many of them here. So the first step of a music organization is to help you and your computer understand where your music resides. Downloading songs from the web and immediately loading it into your DJ software is not the safest move. As an example, if I were to go to direct music service and just download any song, it would show up in my downloads folder, which is not the safest place to put it. If that MP3 is ever moved on your hard drive, in most cases, it just becomes a real challenge for us to locate it at that point. So this is why we recommend you have one folder that hosts every song you own. Now we like this method for a number of reasons. Number one, it's an instant duplicate killer. When you drag a song into one folder where an identical version resides, the computer will ask if you want to replace or make a copy of it. Watch what happens. The one folder instantly recognized that these were duplicates. So this is a very handy technique in helping narrow down songs that you may already have. Nonetheless, what's happening right now is there's less resources on your computer. The more folders, the more your computer may be indexing, thereby potentially slowing it down. Another advantage to this one folder is tagging and relocating of files. So with one folder, you can easily view the columns to spot any kind of irregularities, things like bit rate or date added and more can help you locate the songs you can consider keeping. Plus if a file is accidentally moved, you know exactly where it is supposed to return. Now there's numerous methods of trying to get everything taken care of here when it comes to this one folder technique. You can go through the arduous process of dragging and dropping songs folder after folder, grabbing external drives and wrangle this mess together. Or you can simply use the Crate Hackers desktop app. You'll find the folder flattener you're gonna select your source folder, or folders for that matter. And with a click of a button, it will file flatten. Now this will take a while. So the folder flattener is going to make life a little bit easier, not just for you, but also on your computer's resources. Once this is finished, we're gonna dive straight into lesson number two identifying low bitrate songs to find the highest quality versions for your performance.